This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's This past Saturday at the Nottingham Arena in a bout that was televised on the still relatively new streaming app service known as The Zone, Lee Wood defended his regular WBA featherweight title against Michael Conlon, and this one wound up being a hell of a fight. In the opening round, Wood was looking to step in with power attacks whenever he could, and Conlon was trying to get a read on him. Conlon started orthodox, but it didn't take long for him to switch to southpaw. While both featherweights were sizing each other up in a quasi-feeling-out process, the intensity level was quite heated from the onset. In the final seconds of round one, Conlon leveled Wood with a dynamite left. He beat the count, and the round was over. Conlon had Wood hurt and wobbly early in round two, and he was attacking ferociously, and he cut his eye in the midst of the assault. Conlon was doing a good job disguising his big left, and Wood was getting nailed flush. But Wood was absorbing the incoming fire and hanging in there, and he was still firing off shots whenever he had a moment to refocus. By round three, Conlon was boxing extremely well. He was moving well, he was fainting well, and he was the one dictating the fighting range. Wood was giving it his best, and he was trying to find ways to get his offense going, but he was being outslicked, and he continued having difficulty avoiding Conlon's explosive left. Conlon looked poised and comfortable. In round four, Wood started doing a much better job crowding Conlon in tight. Wood was more effective when he was able to make it a more physical fight. But whenever Conlon was able to create a little space, he was still operating smoothly. So Wood was trying his best to keep the action tight, Conlon was trying to create a little space, and they both fine-tuned their approaches accordingly. Conlon was winning that battle in round five, and he was continuing to find a home for his left hand. But Wood was absorbing them better by this point. Conlon was able to keep things at a distance that were to his liking for most of the round, but Wood was patient and was still able to close the gap and apply some pressure. Conlon typically responded well to this, with good defense and some sneaky counters. The action was a lot more physical in round six, and this played to Wood's favor. Wood was closing the gap more effectively, but it also helped that Conlon was sometimes smothering his own work. Regardless, the rhythm of the action was far more physical, and even when things weren't up close and personal, Conlon was no longer getting off first as consistently as he was earlier. Neither guy was particularly sharp in round seven, and both seemed a bit off with their timing. The action was slower, there were a lot of missed punches, and things began to get a little scrappy and tight. The round did, however, end with a prolonged heated exchange where the two stood and traded. There were a lot of fireworks in round eight, and Wood and Conlon were both landing some hard clubbing shots. Both boxers were digging down deep and trying to summon that extra will and courage in what was quickly transforming into a true battle of attrition. Conlon and Wood were both displaying a lot of heart in the midst of battle. In round 9, Conlon was trying to jab and move more, and Wood was patiently pursuing. While Conlon still appeared to have the technical edge at this stage, Wood was the one who seemed far more willing and eager to engage. Earlier in the fight, Conlon was comfortable using his skills and quickness to battle at mid-range. But by round 10, Conlon was clearly trying to keep things at long range. But Conlon was having trouble keeping things at range. And Wood started turning up the heat, and he was unloading with some hurtful blows. In round 11, Conlon was trying to stay away and operate from outside. And he was throwing some damn good shots. Conlon was outworking Wood and appeared to be having a strong round, but in the final seconds of the 11th, Wood went on the attack and dropped Conlon. He beat the count and the round was over. Early in the 12th and final round, the referee warned an aggressive Wood for pushing off, but at this point Conlon seemed to be running on fumes. 
Later in the round, a vicious assault from Wood had Conlon out, and he crashed down through the ropes. The fight was over, and it was a genuinely scary ending because of the way Conlon was knocked out of the ring. But by all accounts, he is going to be okay. And this was a dramatic matchup start to finish. It was a hell of a fight where both boxers displayed outstanding heart and determination. And it was a hell of a comeback win for Wood. Congratulations to Lethal Lee Wood for the dramatic knockout victory, and it was a wonderful effort from Irish Michael Conlon who did his part in helping to make this one a very memorable encounter. Best of luck to both boxers going forward. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner.